You know when, like, you don't remember what something is, but you remember you don't like it? That's, that's what I'm experiencing right now. Very easy first boss, especially if you wait for it to charge you and then do that. Oh, look at that damage. Today's video has been brought to you thanks to the support of the wonderful folks over at Patreon.com, and it is linked in the video description if you would like to join them for as little as $1 per month. Thank you once again to them. Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to many of you to The Binding of Isaac. Uh, by the way, still recovering from a cold, so I'm going to sound a bit more nasally than usual. At least, I don't think I normally sound like this. I hope. So anyway, um, I haven't played this game in quite literally years. I'm going to explain what this game is. And after this episode, will not be explaining again what this game is. So this will be a good introduction to you, for those of you that are unfamiliar with it. Uh, just quickly, this is my old save file, just so you can see what I have and haven't done. I did all of the uh, all of the challenges in the base game, and then there are apparently what six that we never did in the in the DLC. And if you look at the characters, I can't even remember. Oh, the buttons there. That's how you switch to the uh, the additional characters. A lot of stuff we didn't do. A lot of stuff we did do, but a lot of stuff we didn't do. Yeah, never even finished everything with the. Uh, the new Bethany and Jacob and Esau characters. Interesting. Anyway, so, um, basically, let's give you a... Whilst I'm starting a new run here on a new file, because, yes, that's how we're going to be playing it, I don't think there's any reason to, to play in normal mode. Also, I will be very rusty. So, basically, this game originally... Oh, my God, that's a good item. Uh, unless they've nerfed it. I don't know. This game was originally released as a flash game and many many years ago they released a dlc for that game called wrath of the lamb and then when they decided that the game wasn't functioning how they wanted it to because it was on flash it didn't really run properly they decided to remake the game they remade the game from the ground up and called it the binding of isaac rebirth which is what we're playing now however there's been at least three expansions to this game maybe more that i'm not aware of but there was originally rebirth and then there was afterbirth then when there was afterbirth plus and then repentance i don't think there was four i think there was just the three so if you include the base game the re remake from the ground up which also included new content as well as all of the expansions there's been like five or six expansions to the game at this point it's kind of crazy so the game is absolutely freaking massive to actually 100 percent the game it takes somewhere in the region of uh, probably a couple hundred hours if you're not slow <laughs> and it's kind of randomly generated to a degree like there's essentially many many different combinations of rooms and bosses and things like that that can be sort of stuck together so, for example, when we walk in the boss room here, it will be from a pool of bosses on the first floor. You can't get bosses from, you know, the pool of the second floor, for example, on the first floor, but you can get one of these. So, for example, we got Monstro. It could have been, I can't remember, but probably about six different bosses. However, when you start the game, you have to unlock the majority of the content by defeating the game. So, the first time you beat the game, the game is quite short. You unlock more items, more bosses more paths, more endings, things like that, and many, many, many more characters as you are going along. So the first run here should be pretty easy, pretty basic. So what I'm probably going to do is cut out the majority of it and just sort of show you the, uh, the highlights until we actually get to, you know, the real stuff, the real content, when we're actually making progress. But yeah, at the moment, should be pretty easy, especially this first run. The first run only goes, I believe, to the depths too, so you don't even unlock the womb on the first run. I don't remember what this does. Uh, carrying this will have some kind of passive effect, but what the passive effect is, I don't really remember. I used to know what, like, every little thing did and how they interacted, but there's so many different... There's, there's hundreds of items in the game. So I don't recall... Some of them are pretty self-explanatory. I mean, this one, like, you pick it up, it says Shrink Shot. When you shoot enemies, there's a chance they will get shrunk, and then you can run over them and crush them. Um, 
much like when we picked up Crack the Sky. You may notice occasionally we shoot a blue tear, which will, you know, cause a beam of light to come down like that and devastate everything around it. Pretty bloody good. But again, there's, there's so many different enemies, so many different things. I don't know what everything does. Even if I did before, I'm not going to remember now. So you may be wondering, like, well, Jason, why are you suddenly playing this game that came out many, many years ago? Uh, you know, right at the end of 2023. Um, I don't really have a good answer for you. I just kind of felt like playing The Binding of Isaac. I don't know. You know the way YouTube works? Sometimes you're just browsing and it will recommend a video to you. It recommended a couple of, like, old Isaac videos, like, showing how things work, like, certain item interactions and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, that game's great. And I was like, oh yeah, I never finished it, because it's really, 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 really obscenely hard. Um, I'm not going to explore any more of the floor, I'm, I'm actually pretty damn happy with this. Again, the, the first run should be very easy, so I'm just going to pick that up and go. Um, I will try to explain things as best as I can as we are going along. But again, a lot of it I'm not going to remember, and a lot of it I don't want to bore the absolute piss out of people that are familiar with Isaac. So, for example... Um, the item that we just picked up, the half of a white heart, you can see up there in the top left, we still have it. Basically, the short version is, if I beat this floor without losing that half of a white heart, it will become a full heart container. And as you see, that's rather easy to do, given we have all of this at our disposal. That is kind of a crap item, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, so here's where we can pay health for items from the devil. If you do not pick up a devil deal, you can then get deals with the angel, which you do not have to change health for. And because this ain't that great, I'm going to leave it. And we're going give, to uh, give ourselves a chance to get the, the angel to show up. I don't, however, want these pills, because pills can be bad, and in my experience, quite often they are. Say no to drugs, kids. Say no to drugs, especially in Isaac. This looks oddly familiar to me, but I feel like this is one of the newer items that I never really used Macromycosis? I didn't even get to read that. I don't know what it does. And also, I didn't actually read the description when it came up. It's a tear effect, I can tell that. So, randomly, it's gonna work. So, I guess we'll find out eventually what it does. Ooh, look at our eyes. Nice. Okay, so it sticks to enemies. Oh, and then it, like, blows up after a while? Can I? Yeah, I can stamp on it, but it does still explode. Cool. Well, at least now we know. Ah, and it causes poison, I see. Not bad. Um, yes, for those wondering, I have not forgotten that there are secret rooms in this game. And I generally know, or I remember the rules of the way they work. So you have to be able to enter it from every direction unless they've changed it. So because we can't enter the, the room above or below us, if that were a secret room from here... That means those cannot be a secret room, I believe. So, yeah. So, let's go this way. Right, so I'm guessing, therefore, the secret room is probably up and to the right. But let's find out. Squish. All right. So, I'm thinking it's probably going to be here. Yes, it is. And the secret rooms in the original game, and, you know, a few expansions after that, really, used to be really, really good. And they, they nerfed them into the absolute ground. Like, you can still get, like, game-breakingly good stuff out of them. It's just incredibly rare now compared to before. Again, unless they've changed it, maybe they've... I'm sure there's been buffs and nerfs uh, aplenty since the last time I played. So, I take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. I'm talking from my past experience, but they could easily have changed a lot of this stuff. All right, boss number two. Oh, no. Maybe if we get lucky with our tier effect. Yeah, exactly. Gertie has like an absolute ton of health. And spawns enemy. It's kind of is kind of a pain in the ass of an enemy. I need to get rid of this. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna drop a bomb in there. To hell with that. You know what? We're gonna drop another bomb in there. To hell with that. Oh, you son of a. What is our chance for a deal with the angel? So 16.9% plus 16.9%. Now, I don't know if that just means a flat 16.9 or if you're combining the two. I think you're probably combining the two. But I don't know. So I think we've got like a 33%. What do you think, Abdul? Can you give me a number crunch real quick? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. I'm coming up with 32.33 uh, repeating, of course. 
repeating of course uh so let's see one in three basically we didn't get it suck my ass so we got a health upgrade that's good we got a trickle charge battery i don't really know what that does but i'm going to assume it's got something to do with charging your spacebar item which we don't have we do not have a spacebar item currently so that can also suck my ass uh, i get the feeling the secret room is here or here maybe here okay the secret room can also suck my ass i know what this is doubles your fire rate well actually no it doesn't didn't it used to or maybe that was just a myth either way it's a significant increase so we're gonna have that because at the moment our dps kind of sucks unless we get lucky with our tier effects actually going off we still have base base damage so yeah oh my god oh my god that chain reaction that saved me so much time bloody hell this floor just does not i just realized this could, yep it's gonna be something underground this floor does not end this is the correct mate this is the longest floor look at this it just keeps going okay um still haven't found the the treasure room i'm now realizing so i guess we're gonna keep exploring oh thank god okay just gotta clear out this nonsense you get an item that is hopefully worth it but you know they're random so they're random within a, again much like the bosses they're random within a pool so there are items that can only appear for example in the boss room there are items that can only appear in the secret room uh the pool of items for the treasure room is very very big but it is not every item that is a very good item again unless they've nerfed it in fact i think they've made it better didn't they used to have like a six charge like six rooms to charge it it's, it's four now unless this is the shears and not the scissors right because the shears as well i don't know i guess we'll find out the sprite looks weird to me it looks strange and unfamiliar Let's find out. Is this the one that cuts off your head and your body? Yeah, your body just wrecks face. No pun intended. Duh. Yeah, no, this is dead. They haven't nerfed it. It's still very, very good. I think they've buffed it, which is incredible to me. Unless maybe it was four before. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. So, um, we didn't get a deal with the angel. The devil decided to still show up because he's a bastard. I think now, if we didn't pick it up, we'd become like 100% aligned with the angel. Um, and to be honest, none of these items are that great. Uh, so I'm just going to leave them. They can, they can, you know, once again, suck my ass. Well, oh, this room is hell. This is absolute hell. Please. Just, <laughs> come here. I'm not crossing this pit to fight you, man. Good lord. Uh, yeah. No, no, no! No, oh, okay. We're fine. I'm not taking the pill. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. Ooh. I was just hoping for like an item or something, but I'll take that. What is that? I don't think it's very good. If I remember, it looks... You know when like you don't remember what something is, but you remember you don't like it? That's, that's what I'm experiencing right now. Isn't this like milk? Yeah. I think if you get hit... It like spills on the ground or something. No, maybe maybe it increases your fire rate. I think it might be your fire rate because the description said don't cry over here. So when I when you get hit and the milk spills, I think it increases your fire rate because your fire rate is your tears, thus your crying. So makes sense to me. But I don't know, man. I think this is called adrenaline. And I also don't know what it does. Yes, I think it's got again much like the milk. I think it's got something to do with getting hit, maybe increasing your stats, possibly your speed or something. I would like this chest. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Okay. Was it worth it? No. What the heck is that? Used diaper. I don't know. Probably got something to do with spawning flies, perhaps? This room sucks. Never mind. Get wrecked. Why did I walk in the corner like that? I'm an absolute fool. Woo! We'll buy the plan. That's an eraser. I think... I don't know what the eraser does, I don't remember. Um, why is there no donation machine in the shop? Do we have to unlock that? I don't really remember. I don't know. But we do have a battery in there we can buy to charge our scissors if we need to. This room kind of sucks. Never mind, the easiest room of my life! Never mind! Nope, still the easiest room of my life. Alright, boss time. Uh, eat it. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. 
Yeah, okay, so it does increase your fire rate. Okay, so it's not a horrible item then. Why do I hate it? Why do I have a memory of hating that item? Hey, it's the angel, finally. Was it worth it? Mm, Scapula, I, I remember nicknaming Crapula, so uh, not really. I will do this, even though there's really no point. Oh, you can't even blow up the angel statues right now. Huh. Fascinating. I'm going to go buy this to charge my scissors, even though very likely we won't need to. But just in case we run into like a horrible room quickly on the next floor, we'll have it. Y you might, won't hear me saying this very often, but man, a range upgrade would actually be kind of nice. A range kind of sucks. Woo! I'm going to use the card so I can fly. I don't want to waste my scissors, but also I'd like to be able to fly. We'll just use a bomb. We only have one though, but we'll do it. Be worth it. Not worth it. Um, found the boss, no treasure room. But again, because this is our first run, this this is the final boss, so pfft, just murder it, man. I need no stinking treasure room. Only problem is our main form of offense here, being the scissors, doesn't get that much time to actually attack the foot, because the foot is not down very long, plus it keeps getting distracted by the other enemies. Mm, so, you know, we're not as OP as I was kind of expecting us to be when we walked in here with the scissors, but still... Um, we have a lot of health. I was going to say we've done a good amount of that. We haven't. We, we haven't even half killed it. Well, we have, we, you know, we got low HP. In a war of attrition, we aren't going to be the loser. I don't think. Unless I play god awfully. Which I kind of have already. But I digress. Yeah, that's what we need. Those beams I like to go off on the eyeballs, man. Ah, I didn't see that coming. And... Club it. Isn't the Bible, like, fall on her head? Yeah. Just like that, it was over. Um, why did I get absolutely nothing for that? Excuse moi. Is it because I have this this mod for health bars? <laughs> have they disabled unlocking things when you have a mod? You sons of bitches! Well, I guess we're doing the run again. Let's uh, let's turn the mod off, I suppose. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. That would probably explain why A, there was no donation machine in the shop, and B, we didn't actually, now that I think about it, unlock a single effing thing as we were, you know, killing bosses and things like that. On your first run, it should be constantly popping up going, you unlock this, you unlock that, we got nothing. So, I, that is just upsetting that I did not get the chest. But, you know, whatever. What a horrible first run. What the hell? Why is that guy spinning, man? So spinning. You. I was trying to kick it at the rocks. In hindsight. Oh, there, there you are. Okay, good. Um, in hindsight, I don't know why. Because it, well, yeah, no, I wouldn't have broke through there anyway. But, um, you know, like, you got to give a man credit for trying, right? I'm getting absolutely effing wasted right now. Like, what, 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 what are these rooms, bro? That was a great dodge. you got to give it to me. Okay, I'm not leaving without my treasure room. God knows we need it. There you are. Every room is just a mess of enemies right now. Like, these are fine when you've got some damage, but we don't. We're base Isaac, man. These. I don't know what that is, but it looks good. Rocket in a jar. Rocket pr propulsion plus five bombs. I think I remember this. I think instead of laying bombs, you sort of shoot rockets in the general direction that you're facing. No, how the hell do they work? I don't... Ah! Well, that's bad. That's, that's bad. <laughs> you suck! Okay, we're never going to know uh, what that does. Well, I suppose... Oh, okay, good. that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, okay. Alright, now I'm happy. All part of the plan, baby. All part of the plan. Good to see this still works. Oh, man. I want the nickel. Yeah. You know what? Stars you mean to go on. Unlock something. For Christ's sakes. Okay. Very easy first boss, especially if you wait for it to charge you and then do that. Oh, look at that damage. Never lost it. Full health. Health upgrade. Bibbidi-boopy. That's what we like. It would be nice if we had a soul heart. 
uh, to protect our red hearts because if you take red heart damage that is how you lose your chance for a deal with the devil um, but you know also you could just play well so let's do that I suppose okay so well, what I think is a library here or at least a okay not a library that is a mimic because it has a little blood stain on the corner which makes it really obvious actually it used to just be way more subtle than that um, let's see what's in this absolute garbage I'm gonna keep my key for the treasure room but if we get a spare one, we'll come back and open that. But uh, at the moment, that room has given us absolutely nothing. Nothing but disappointment. I can't have you hitting me. I would like to deal with the devil. Conveniently enough, I believe you used big... Latch key, right? Luck up, soul heart. Soul heart would have been nice early before we took the damage, but, you know, whatever. At least we got it now. So I mean, we still got, like, over a third chance for a deal with the devil. More than one in three is not horrible odds. It could still happen. Copium. I'm huffing the copium right now. Alright, treasure room. Is the belly button. Uh, I think this lets you hold an extra trinket or something. Pulseworm seems to do nothing to my tears, which is uh, unfortunate. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking like this. Um, whatever. We have a bomb. Let's go blow up the, the stone chest. Sometimes you get good stuff out of stone chests. Sometimes you get absolute garbage. But in general, it probably should at least pay for itself. I did quite literally. Well, you know what? Actually, no. It more than paid for itself. We got a little bit of health back. Did we need that? I mean, not particularly, but I digress. Uh, I think you need one heart to go in here. It used to just be one red heart, but I think they've changed it to one heart total, but I might be wrong about that. Either way, can't do that. Oh god, why is my character so slow? Is Isaac always this slow? No, he seems faster now. Why did I seem so slow on this wall? What happened? Is that just me? Why does this wall seem to be slowing me down? Is that a thing? Have they... Are you slower against the wall? I think you are. I don't think that was a thing before. Or uh, am I high as shit? Like, I'm not imagining that, right? Like, I'm slower on the wall. It's quite the revelation. Alright, I have a master plan here. Master plan is to kill this boss. This is a good boss, by the way, when you have, uh, you know, laser beams that pierce through enemies. A segmented multiple part boss. Very useful. Please, sir, just die. You might deal with the devil. Just, just, just... Okay, we unlocked something, and we did get a deal with the devil, and we got this, which I think gives... It gives you... Plus one to your lowest stat. I thought it also gave you an HP upgrade, but apparently not. Either way. Um, yeah. This is really good. It's just damage and speed. Like, look at that. That is money equals power. The more cash you have, the more power you have. But we don't really have cash. And we probably won't because it's, again, going to be a short run. Because, you know, we finish at the end of the depths. So I'm just going to call that a win and leave. Oh, wow. Okay. I know exactly what this is. I'm going to hold on to that for now. I think it restarts the entire run, right? Like, not just the floor. I think it's the whole run. Which is crazy good. If you can get, like, really strong and get to the end of the game, but maybe feel like you're not quite strong enough to do... You know, say you got to really far in the Lost or Tainted Lost or something, which is still obscenely difficult to beat the game, even if you're very overpowered. You could be like, let me... Bollocks. You'd be like, let me reset the whole game and get even more items and stuff, but obviously risk-reward. Uh, but also, I might be talking shit, and that might not be what it does at all, but I think it is. Uh, either way, we're probably not going to use it. Just to be honest, I think we could already beat the final boss, at least our version of the final boss, with what we have right now, as long as I don't lose a ton of health. It wouldn't be a comfortable victory, but I think we could do it. I'm also almost regretting not buying money equals power, however. Uh, yes, no, we want that. That one-shots mum. And since that is who we have to kill, that... Wow, yeah, okay, I will take that. But we need two more coins. So let's worry about the boss first, and then we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get our two coins afterwards. 
You can see though, like our damage is still a bit shit. This guy's being kind of a giant butthole and is constantly behind the rocks. Who the eyeballs! Yeah, that that was kind of annoying, but uh, he's dead. I'm alive. Suck it. Fire rate and health. We like this muy macho. We unlocked Lazarus. Good. We like that as well. Um, don't you need like five heart containers or something to unlock Maggie? I think it's something like that. Anyway, I want the Bible. I need money for the Bible. Um, how can we get money? We could run across the spikes here. I'm going to do it. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. Yoink. And you know what? Sure, we'll donate to this as well. I think at 10 cents you get a shop upgrade or something. No, blue map. I think it might be 20 cents for the, the shop upgrade. Also, we got a luck upgrade, which, yes, is a thing. If you donate money, you will, after a certain amount, I think it's like between, you know, I don't know, 5 and 50 coins or something. It's There's, there's a variation there. Uh, I don't remember what the variation is, but yeah. So we, we got kind of lucky getting the payout that early, but the point is, if you do it enough in a run, you will get a luck upgrade. So... What does luck do, I hear you ask? Many things. The primary and probably most important thing I would say is your tier effects. So, for example, you remember the, the last run, uh, which we shan't talk about ever, apart from right now, um, when we had like Crack the Sky and uh, the Shrinking Shot and stuff like that, the chance at which they go off increases with your luck. So I think if you have like, I think it's like 12 luck or something, every single tier will have the tier effect attached. Come on, health upgrade. You suck. Woo! There's way too many explosives for one room. Holy crap. I, I knew something was going to hit me out of that. It was too good to be true. Uh, so we should be able to carry two trinkets, yes, because we've got the belly button. I would like that heart. But again, no money. Dude, our damage is popping off right now, man. Absolutely popping off. Wait for it. Look at the timing. It's like he's played the game before. I don't want that. This baby thing behind me shooting random red shots is confusing the shit out of my brain. Because obviously the enemy shots are red. And I don't know why friendly fire isn't a different color. It's really confusing. I don't remember what you do. But I'm going to keep you because you're probably better than the worm that's doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, let's just fight the boss. This is kind of a pain in the ass, boss. I don't know why I just stood there and took that. Like, as bosses go, he's one of the harder ones for this stage in the game, I would say. Certainly of the vanilla pool of bosses, because again, the more you beat things, the more bosses you will unlock. And obviously they are, in general, harder. But yeah, from, from like the starting pool, this guy is a bit of a pain in the ass for the caves. A little chubby. Joke's on you, I've had a little chubby this entire time. This room kind of sucks. This this is this is a rough freaking room for like regular ass like vanilla haven't un really unlocked anything dense. Two monstros? Like you kidding me? I'm gonna go for it. I'm feeling lucky. I got a bomb back anyway. We got a card out of it. Let's leave the room to despawn the enemies. Go back in. What card did we get? Temperance it is a blood bank. Um, we'll hold on to that for now. Could be useful. I feel like the secret rooms here, dude. I just have a feeling. I knew it. Fucking knew it. Um, I'm going to double down. Or triple down, or however many down. Wow. That sucked. The Bible lets you fly for a room. That's the wrong button. <laughs> that is the wrong button. Uh, the Bible lets you fly for a room. So I'm just going to grab these keys, because you never know. And you know what? Give me some... Give me some money. I have full confidence we can get this health back. That's a cruel joke. Boomerang? You know what? Why not? We'll get the shop upgrade. God knows we need it when you get this garbage. Yeah, we're doing stuff. I'm going to blow your ass up. I have faith that it won't be spiders. It's not. It's the, uh, the steam cell, which is nice, but at this point in the game, rather pointless. But thanks anyway, chief. Um, haven't found the treasure room yet. I'm gonna go find it. I'm taking way too much damage. Getting a little concerned if I'm gonna die now. I'm kind of regretting giving all my health to the blood bank, if I'm honest with you. It's one of those situations where I was like, well, we're reasonably strong. And all we've got to do is kill mum. How can we possibly fail? And now I'm like, hmm. 
This is how. This is how we could fail. Overconfidence. Also, you know, playing poorly. Little from column A, little from column B. Come on, just give me red health. The hell is that? Teardrop charm, it feels lucky. Sure. Well, yeah, why not? Oh, thank you. Finally some health. Please do not shoot me. I wish to live. I'm gonna blow you up, because you could give me a soul heart. You didn't. But thanks for trying. Oh my god. Look at that damage increase. Even my laser's gotten bigger. Little chubby? Not anymore. Alright, we're going to consider that victory and just cream this guy's cracker. It would be monstro frickin' 2, bro. I've said this before, and I will say it again. I will say it until I'm blue in the face. Monstro 2 has way too much health. Like, for how strong we are, he's tanky as shit. Like, what the hell? Please, just die. I can't afford to take damage, man. Go away. I can't tell what tears are mine and what aren't because of this little red thing following me. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Uh, glass side damage and luck up. Never seen that iron before in my life. More damage though, I'll take it. And that's also a health upgrade if we don't lose it, which we're not going to. Um, do I want to spend health for the ability to fly? <sighs> Normally, yes, but like, we ain't got a lot of health. And we can fly with the Bible, at least in the room. I'm not gonna do it even though normally I would do that but like I just I can't I can't afford it man too poor oh so we just got more damage in theory as long as I don't play dreadfully or get incredibly unlucky or both this should be a done deal all we gotta do is get to the boss and just press the space bar or you know I mean I mean I'm on a controller so press L2 and she's dead if I can't get to the boss with the four health Four and a half, five and a half, four, four and a half health, mathematics. Then, then I should just quit video games forever. He says immediately getting hit twice. Oh, look at that! Look at that damage. In the words of that meme guy, that's a lot of damage. Ooh, another double key room thing potentially. Like, no, libraries are one key, aren't they? What the hell is this? Just a place with cards. Uh, that takes you to the treasure room. That gives you damage and stats up for a room. Judgment. Okay, this is, these are very good. So, treasure room. I don't want that, so I'm going to pay money. Which I think is what pay to win does. Is puts one of these in the room. So we can... Ch normally, yes, we would take that. Oh, with a Bible. I don't know what you are. You might ruin the run, but I'll take you anyway. Ah, I think enemies explode into bullets, which will make things even more confusing. Tremendous. Yes, they do. Yep, I know. I don't know whose bullets are whose anymore. Why can't they just be like blue or something, man? Right, so what we got to do is backtrack through this single room. Definitely worth it, especially as it's the easiest room known to man. And grab the strength card, because the strength card gives you all stats up for a room. And that includes health, which is big. And we're going to give our remaining 8 cents to a good old bum friend here and see if bum friend wants to give me something like, you know, a health upgrade. As boring of an item as that is, that's kind of all I really need right now. I mean, that, that's, uh, you're on the right track, buddy. You're on the right track. Yeah, I, I, I can't tell whose bullets are whose, bro. I had a feeling it would be greed in the shop. Um, I don't have any money anyway, so, you know whatever at least now we got a little bit more for bum friend and yes i'm gonna go back and try it and you're know, gonna open this as well i don't think we want that um doesn't that like no yeah i think that increases your stats when your spacebar item isn't charged which if our spacebar item didn't instantly kill the boss yeah that would be good but she's gonna be dead the second it's not charged anyway so it doesn't matter You are a bastard. I I hate these ghosts. Oh my god, I hate them. Alright, boss acquired. 
Would have been real nice if that was health, but that's fine. It doesn't, doesn't matter, I suppose, because she's dead. The halo has appeared in the basement. I don't know if we got that specifically because we used the book. I don't know. And we unlocked the womb. So two more floors now after that floor. And we got to unlock a ton of challenges, probably like the Horseman of the Apocalypse, stuff like that. We're just gonna, we're, we're gonna watch it all, why not? Yep, Horseman. A cube of meat, which what you get from the Horseman, okay. Cool. So now we've got one victory, and yes, we still have nothing achieved on the post-it note, because the lowest thing that you can achieve on the post-it note is the victory on the womb. Or I suppose, technically, boss rush, but, you know, details. Um, so, we unlocked one more character, as I recall, right? I want to say it was Lazarus? I don't remember how you unlock him. I think it's like two deals with the devil or something. So we've got Lazarus. I think they've made significant changes to the way him... Him? The way he works when you rebirth him. Because the, the meta for him used to be to suicide, because you would come back with higher stats. I'm sure I read something that they've made like a big change to that. Why is a Zazel in a box? Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I don't know how he's going to work now. I feel like it's a nerf. Or I, I think like maybe he... He gets his life back every floor or something. So I think if you suicide with him, you still go back to original Lazarus on the next floor. Something like that. Anyway, we'll find that out next time, I'm sure. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, made it all the way through, you probably did, or you were piss bored. One or the other, I don't know. But if you did, I would appreciate a like, comments, etc. Let me know how you uh, like the editing, because obviously when I used to upload this uh, many moons ago, I would put in the entire game from start to finish, but I feel like, especially in the early game here, uh, editing around the repetitive stuff is probably the best way, but let me know what you thought of it. And thank you so much to this month's patrons, patreon.com slash LP if you would like to join them. Names this month are Cody Coyote, Anarchy C, CJM, The Propagator, Colby Ruth Holden, Draconis2987, Zadnamar, Iceclave, Brett D, Alex, Manuel Satulo Garcia, Alex Lee, Not a Porpoise, King Steel, Raptor Zero, Malcolm Davis, Aaron Bridges, Darth Hamos, Conrad82, Lime Green Daggy, Israfel, Meep Sheep, Edith W, Justin Alexander, Darkstar0915, Nickerin, Wiener1997, Luna Parker, Blackwolf8994, Miss Justice83, Shadow Sephiroth666, Jack Hoover, Billy Nying, KP Shadow Squirrel, Loot Smoke Soldier, Philip Rep, and Hitbox. Thank you so much everyone, and I'll see you next time.